into Shannon Airport on a red eye and rented a car. It was quite the experience driving on the left side of the road with very little sleep. It took a few hours to get to Killarney from the airport, so we stopped at a petrol station and grabbed a coffee and some breakfast. As soon as we arrived in the town of Killarney, we noticed the beautiful Gothic style architecture of St. Mary's Cathedral and stopped to take some photos. Our bed and breakfast wouldn't be ready for several hours, so we decided to check out Killarney National Park, which was what I was most excited about. It did not disappoint. The trail we were on takes you down to the Torque Waterfall. This was a fairly easy walk and the waterfall was just breathtaking. We spent a good amount of time at Killarney National Park and the Ring of Kerry. We ended up taking a nap in our car and now we are walking around Buckris house again until our bed and breakfast opens up. from multiple people stateside and local Irish say the Dingle Peninsula was their favorite spot on the Emerald Island. It was about an hour drive from our bed and breakfast and we went down the smallest roads I have ever been on. The views at Dingle were quintessential Irish hills covered with sheep and cliffs that dropped off into the ocean. We loved it. Once on the tip of the peninsula, there were several museum type stops of structures that dated back two to 4,000 years. Each stop was about two to three euros per person. Every structure blew my mind. Good morning, it's our last day in Killarney, or last morning in Killarney. We are going to do a quick hike at the Gap of Dunlow because we haven't done that yet and then we are going to head up to Galway. So we just parked at Kate Kearney's cottage, uh, which seems to be like a little cafe. And we're headed down this road to the Gap of Dunlow. Um, it is nine in the morning on a Sunday and there's really not any hikers here yet. After our time in the Killarney area, we headed north. Our first stop was the Cliffs of Moor. Unfortunately, there was no way to get to the cliffs early in the morning for us, so it was incredibly crowded. The cliffs were beautiful and it was a great experience to have, but it was one of those sites where you just look and then move on. We took a 
cruise to the Aran Islands and we are on Guinness Ear and we're eating lunch. With a, with a Guinness? Dished our bikes to take a closer look at O'Brien's castle. We are on top of this big hill with the beach behind us, and there's the castle. morning we headed across the country to Dublin. We dropped our bags at our hotel, dropped off the rental car, and started walking. Our final destination was the Guinness Storehouse, but we took our time taking in the city. It reminded me of Boston just without the skyscrapers. We did tours at Guinness and Jameson and had a great time at both. The next morning we headed home. We had an amazing trip and the weather was sunny and warm every day and the people were incredibly friendly. I highly recommend a trip to Ireland. Ooh. 